made them? How do brands get established? Okay, we have this human biological need to be in relationships. Yeah, it's true. But how do we point that at things? How do marketers point that at things? I mean, how do I get you to fall in love with an end beater? No, you're right. I guess I gotta add Wilson to it, right? Okay. So, I was saying, and what if I decide, okay, I'm going to make my brand the world's smartest egg beater, and that's going to be the, the brand, but everybody thinks it's the, world, it's the world's dumbest egg beater. <laughs> Problem is, how do I control people? How do I get everybody thinking in the same direction? How do I get all these people saying yes? So, what are brands made of? Well, I'm going to tell you the story. Um, uh, that, that are called the Beverly Hills Motorist. Uh, several months ago, a friend of mine was in town, and we were at a loud door cab cafe in uh, Beverly Hills. And there was this woman uh, in her car, and she was sitting there on the side of the road, and in this really nice car on her bejeweled cell phone, just talking, and not moving, and causing a huge <laughs> who doesn't care about anybody else was going to get hers. The, the cop goes up to her and says, I need you to move your, your car. We're all waiting for her to argue. And what does she, she say? I don't know what's wrong. This is my friend's car. I can't get it to start. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Her brand shifted. Yeah. Right? Her brand identity shifts from the rich Beverly Hills lady who doesn't care about anybody but her, herself. And we have a shift. A woman in trouble. <laughs> now, do you see the power of those two brands? How they're both very powerful brands. And we shifted one from, from, from the other based on nothing but public interaction. Target did, did that. In 1982, this is what Target stores look like. They look like any other low-cost department store. In 2005, they did a complete brand shift. They had most of the same products, but the way that we felt about Target 
the, the look of the target and our interaction and our relationship with target changed dramatically. Target stopped being Kmart and Walmart and Grandpa's and every other little store and started being its own thing. 